Use the shell method to find the volume of a sphere of radius 4. So let's just roughly graph this. Um, here's the curve. So we have y equals root r squared minus x squared around the oh I was gonna say I guess it doesn't matter if it's around the the x or the y axis so we'll, we'll say the x axis so that's the radius there okay, that's the radius And that's the H. So the volume is 2 pi integrate or H uh, dx, isn't it? Um, so that's 2 pi, sorry, dy. Or is it dx? I forget now for the shell method. Let me, let me check. Yeah, it's the opposite one. So it's uh, dy, yeah. Um, so the radius, which is going to be just y from zero to r, and then the h length. Okay, so if you know the, um, that's the h, also write this as x equals root um, r squared minus y squared, can't I? y squared, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so for a particular value of y, yeah, it'd be that one then, r squared minus y squared dy, and um, what I'll do is put a minus here and a minus here. So that would be minus pi integrate minus 2y r squared minus y squared power a half dy. So I think if I was to differentiate, let me see r squared minus y squared power 3 over 2. Let's see. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1, multiply by the inside derivative. So 2 thirds then goes here. Um, right. The derivative here is r squared minus y squared power 1 over 2 times 3 over 2 times minus 2y. So they cancel, and I'd be left with minus 2 thirds pi. That's only going to be for half a sphere, though. That's the double the answer. Um, r squared minus y squared 3 over 2, 0 to r. You put in r, you get zero. You put in zero, you'll get the r squared. So that would be two thirds pi. Um, or squared power three over two. The twos cancel. So that's two thirds pi r cubed, but that's only for um, half. So you'd have to multiply that by two. So that would be four thirds pi r cubed, because it's that's only that that's only for. Uh, a, a hemisphere. Okay.